Right, we're going to do a video today to upgrade the headlights in our Discovery 4. This is an early Discovery 4. We facelifted it and we've done the videos on how to do that and we'll, we'll put a little link there. Um, right, Xenon headlights. So the Xenon headlights are cool, A, because they're Xenon and B, they come with the signature strip. So this little funky little thing should light up here. But if your car is not configured to have Xenons, was configured to have halogens, when you fit a xenon, um, it goes on, realises it's taking too much current, and we have measured the current, and it does take more current. Um, I thought it might take less, because I thought it was more efficient, but that proved not to be the case. Um, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to flash and go on. So this one's halogen, this one's xenon. So Ian, do you want to give us a demo, um, and turn the headlights on and see what happens? So look, first of all, notice the signature light. Uh, which is, looks much cooler than that, which is one good reason to upgrade. Right, go again then. Way, did you see that? Yep, yeah, spot on T. I don't know if you saw it, but yeah, if you play the video again, you'll see this one came on, it realised it was taking too much current, and it closed it down. So we're going to try, I think there's a way, and you can email me, and we'll try and sort it, of putting a circuit in here with a relay, and I think that will work, and we, we might do that. But it's quite easy with one of these IDT tools to change your car configuration files in theory. So we haven't done it. We're going to do it now. Now, the guys at IDT told me off the other day because I was changing the car configuration files without having my battery on charge. Now, if your battery runs out in the middle of a configuration, you what, what do they call it? You'll brick your car, I think is the technical term. Uh, and basically, when it's halfway through updating, you've got it on computers, it says updating, do not turn off now. And it does take a load of current. It did nearly flatten the battery last time as well. So they recommend a good 10 amp at least battery charger. So we've got this SeaTech monster bad boy there. And he's a 10 amp, if you can read upside down. There you go, right there. So he's a 10 amp. So if you're doing this stuff and messing around with CCF files, do. Do that, right then. You need my phone, don't you? Mm. So we've got our little IDT tube. We're gonna plug it in. It plugs in there, let's have a little look at it. Yeah, it's a little dongly thing there. And you've got your little ODB2 port up there. So you put it in there. Right, I've got to unlock my phone. We've downloaded the app and we've done a video of all of this. Um, oh gosh, there's everyone's phone number. Right, lucky I won't look in. Right, here you go. what are we after, what are we after? IDT, gap tool, where is he? There he is, little gap tool. Doop. There we go, gap tool. Right, yeah, you fly it, I'll film it. Let me just turn that light off, will it turn off? There we go, that's better. Search for tool. Search for tool, oh, close this door. Right, go on in, you fly it, talk it through. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, car, oh, configuration. car configuration, yeah. We've not done this before. As ever, we're, we're blagging it. Hopefully we don't get locked in. Yeah. Open the windows. Right. Confirmed list. All right then. What do you reckon? We want complete list with... Complete items. list. What do you reckon? Lighting, what's it got? So what, we've got fuel type. Let's read some of these out. Brand, Model vehicle year, type, dynamic front, fuel, battery suspension, reserved. Ooh. Secret ones, drive. Lock rear axle, dynamic response, air suspension, reserved. Oh, right, power steering. Are these in any al alphabetical order or anything? No. Tire pressures, drive type, heated seats, auxiliary heater, park heater. Gosh, what we got? Parking sensors, speed, pro headlamp, headlamp wash. Oh, I got excited. Headlamp delay. Oh, daytime running lamps enable. Well, I don't know if we need that, but, but that might be... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm going to say skip that for now. Let's see what works just on the... Police lamps? Check that out. What are you going to do with that? All right. We might have to try some of these. Yeah. <laughs> Approve approach lamps. All right. Ambient lighting. Alarm status. Battery. Tilt. Gosh. It's never ending. Tailgate seats. Be the last place we look in. Be the last one on the list. Come on. Right. Audio. Error. CD. Headphone. 
Oh, yes, see, display, display, display. Oh my goodness me, how many more we got? Driving and audio. Right, we're going to look through the rest of this list. I'll turn this off and we'll join you. Okay, right, we're about halfway down on the scroll list that you can't see, but yeah, there's a little scrolly bit there. About halfway down, and we've got Xenon lamps are fitted. So let's go and have a look what it says in there. It says not fitted. At not minute. fitted. Let's just go fitted. Apply. Apply. Upload changes. It is. Upload changes, yep. Right, updating CCF of vehicle. Ignition will return on automatically after completion. Right, continue. Message and keep, what's all this? Connect, keep, yeah. keep tools connected at all times. Times, yeah. Checking voltage, that's, oh, right, here it goes. Now, just be careful where you do this as well. We, we've got the, we're inside, but we've got the truck out. We've got the, the rear doors of the workshop open. As you can see, that's the outside, in case it starts, because it may well start, so. It's like the devil's taking control of our car, look, the I mean, the old clock's going on, what's going on, oh, let me, oh, I don't touch anything. Oh, the heaters have come on, the radio's come on. You never know what's going to happen, look, the heater fans. Oh, no. Switch it, it tells you everything's going on here. Oh, yeah. Switching e off, switching on, e ECU initialization, six, six seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Switch oh, switching on. back on. There you go, what's it going? It's switching ignition on. So about three quarters of the way on the progress bar. Clearing faults. Right, what's all that say? So next time the engine is started, start it, it, stop, stop it, it, and then restart, restart it. it. Upload succeed. Continue. It's all looking good. Upload so completed. Gonna... Right, yep. So we're going to need a disconnect. Now disconnect, yep. Right, give me... Right, so start, start it. it. So make sure you're outside, don't come, stop, stop it. it. Start, start it. it. Oh, go on. Let it stabilise itself a bit. Right, shall I go and see if that's done it then? We'll try it. So we'll try it. So Right then, so we're back in front. So this one's halogen, remember, this one's xenon. So let's see what happens now. Right, side lights, yeah, that's all good. Whoa, check that bad boy out. Main beam. Whoa, dip beam. Right, and interestingly, the halogen, do that again, Ian. Main beam, yeah, dip beam. Right, that all works. So there we go, there's how to update your, yeah, and notice where the indicators are in different places. Put the hazards on, Ian. See how the indicators in this part on that one, but is in the other part. So there's a good difference between the the Zen on. Let me get out of the beam a bit. You've got the signature light here, that, and this is the indicator. On the other one, the headlights here. You've got no signature strip, and that's the indicator. So there we go. Good luck with that.